Hello aspirants, welcome again to another special video brought to you by Shankar IAS Academy. In this special video, we are going to see the right time to start making notes from the newspaper or when should one begin making notes from the newspaper. See, let me break this to you now itself. There is no right time to start making notes from the newspaper. And why is that? See, when it comes to newspaper, the important thing is you should be able to find out the relevant articles or the articles that are important for the UPSC examination and not the time that you start making notes from it. See, when it comes to newspaper, we all do the same mistake, right? And what is that mistake? We all indulge too much in it. We read every other article in every other page in the newspaper. But that's not necessary at all. Uh, we'll take a quick detour here and we'll come back to the point. Uh, see, do you all remember the first time you read an article? It was all Greek and Latin, right? And don't even ask me about the editorial section. It was worse than the Greek and Latin. I'll tell you how it will be when you first read an editorial article and you tell me uh, whether you can relate it with you or not. You'll read each and every sentence of the passage, that is the editorial article. You'll understand them perfectly and clearly. But once you finish reading the article, you'll be confused. It may seem like you have understood the passage and believe me, you didn't understand it, but it will be confusing at the same time. At times, you will think like, what did we just read and what are they trying to say in this article? But it is completely normal to feel like that. See, what is happening here is that you are reading each and every sentence separately and you are understanding them. But once you finish reading the entire article, uh, you have to now process every other point that you have read in the article at one instance. So it takes some time. But don't worry, uh, you will eventually get the hold of it. Now let's say you got the hold of it and you are now able to process uh, all points at one instance. Does that mean you can go on reading about every other article in the newspaper? Well, of course you can. Uh, we uh, live in India, free country, we have fundamental rights, Article 21, right to life. As long as the thing that you do doesn't curtail the liberty of others, you are free to do whatever you want. But if you are an UPSC aspirant, believe me, it won't do any good for you. See, in order to clear the UPSC examination, what you have to do? You should be able to differentiate what to read and what not to read in the newspaper. And here comes the syllabus. See, uh, before you start making notes from the newspaper, read your syllabus. Read it extensively, read it again and again until you become familiar with it. See, uh, once you get familiar with the syllabus, now it will be easy for you to differentiate what to study and what not to study. And it will be easy for you to identify the relevant articles with respect to UPSA examination. That's one thing. See, current affairs, they are always linked. Let's take an example here and I'll explain uh, what I'm saying. Uh, let's take the example of Russia-Ukraine war. Uh, have you all been reading the editorial section? then you'll definitely know there at least be one article about the war, right? See, it will not just be about the war, it will be about the consequences of war on different countries, it will be about the impact of war on different sectors. Like the other day, uh, there was this article about the impact of war on uh, manufacturing of semiconductors. And there was this another article about uh, the impact of war on wheat exports. Okay, let's do a quick task here. Uh, we are going to make an assumption. Let's say you are just reading the article which is about the impact of war on wheat exports. You are reading only that article and, that, and assume that you don't know anything about the war. What you have to uh, do here? You don't have to worry that you should have started making notes a little earlier so that you would have known about the war. Instead, you, sh uh, you should just uh, do a background check. And that is all you have to do here. Okay, uh, we'll do the task now. Uh, see, you are reading the article which is about the impact of war on wheat exports, right? So, you make notes uh, that are relevant to the examination from that article. You are making notes and uh, we are going to ask ourselves a couple of questions here. What question should you start with? You should ask yourself which war the article is talking about. Then you will find out it is about the Russia-Ukraine war. Here again, you have to ask yourself the question, why are they fighting? For this, you will come to find that Russia invaded Ukraine and Ukraine is retaliating. 
And here again you have to ask yourself another question, why Russia invaded Ukraine? Then you will find out the factors that led to the uh, invasion of uh, Ukraine by Russia. See this is how it should be and uh, uh, for any act there will be consequences, right? So here also the war has certain consequences. So based on that you have to ask yourself the questions like uh, what are all the consequences of war on different countries, how India is getting uh, impacted by the war or what are the impacts of war on different sectors like uh, uh, we saw wheat exports, right? Uh, semiconductors for example, there will be uh, n number of uh, sectors that will affect, that will get affected, right? So you have to make note of all those things. And there we go. We almost covered a month's current affairs by just asking what are four or five questions, right? So instead of just worrying that you should have started making notes a little earlier, you should just do a background reading. That is all you have to do. See, uh, this is what is important when it comes to making notes from the newspaper and not the time that you start making notes. Like I said, the important thing is you should be able to know the link and you should do the background reading. And that is all about the video and we have come to the end. Uh, before ending the video, I want to share a tip with you. See, uh, whenever you read about anything in the newspaper, go and read the static portion of it also. Static portion, uh, what do I mean by this? Okay, let me give you an example. Uh, let's say you are reading an article which, is, which says that so and so is getting appointed as the judge of the high court. Then what you have to do here, you have to go back and study the appointment procedure of judges to the high court who appoints them or the consulting process and etc. So by doing this, what you are doing, you are covering the current affairs and you are revising the static portion also. And that is all. And uh, if you like the video, like, share and comment and do subscribe to Shankara A's Academy's YouTube channel for further updates. Thank you.